I bought a new Sandis Ultra Micro SD. Interface this to the ESP32. What I will do is I will solder this with the header pin. This SD card with the micro SD card to the header pin. Then I interface it the GPIO of the ESP32. So in this video, I'm gonna show how to do that, and then we gonna flash the programming code into the ESP32 to pour some data into the SD card. Okay, let's go through it. First, I want to solder this stuff. Done the soldering of the SD card, just a quick one of this stuff, okay? So, so just a quick one, it's already done this. I can see from the back, it's quite look. And the last pin which is near to the right side, we get to solder, give a lot of solder it because to the connect to the top one due to the, its uh, length of the pin to the pads there. Now the things we have to do is we have to hook up the SD card you can see here is my GPIO pin. The one to the pin 4 of the GPIO and the other 0 to the pin 2 and so on. You can see all the schematic is provided on here. So I quickly try to hook up this to the ESP32 pin out. I quickly hook up the ESP32 to the SD card over here. Follow the schematic which I shown just now. So each one has its own traits and to the which is not bad at the SD card you can see which is I sold it just now. And let's go through the software and we just program it and we see how it goes. Okay, we already done the all the hardware stuff. Now we go into the firmware and software stuff and uh, yeah do is we go to the directory of the ESP IDF. Inside the ESP IDF, we got the examples code to run the SD, MMC and flash sheet to the chip. So what we have to do is navigate to the ESP IDF environment. So go to our directory. Go to, I save my expressive system in the local disk E. And you can go in, go to frameworks. And you can see here is the examples code. Go to the storage part. You can see here is the storage. Then go to the SD card. Then we choose. They have two SD MMC and SD SPI. I will choose the SD MMC because this is the all the direct connection to the SD MMC. There's another one which is called SD SPI. SPI is like we got MOSI, MISO, serial clock, and chip select. This is the four pin out we have to connect it to the ESP32 chip. But the advantage of the SD MMC is they are much faster in terms of data transfer as compared to SD SPI a bit slower because SD SPI only use four pinout which is the which I mentioned just now. So we can see because SD MMC is direct from the GPIO to the SD card which is the data transfer. So to the SD SPI main, then we can see here is the code of the all of the. What we do now is we just flash it to the chip. Go to our ESP IDF PowerShell and go CD examples. Go to our directory, you can see here examples storage CD SD card CD SD MMC. Before we go through this, I just want to show a couple of things. This is our code here. Okay. So what our code here is uh, provided, you can see from the kconfig file, which is the basically just a configuration. Got bus white 4 and bus white 1, which we can config from the menu config. Say we have to go to the config, we can check from the config here. You see, you check the, see the config, then we got the example configuration. You can choose either four line or one line, which is the D0 to D3, another one, the four lines one, data transfer. So, okay, done with this, just to ensure it's on four line. 
So what we do is just now flash it build flash monitor. Flash monitor. Okay. So we wait a couple of seconds to flash the code to the chip. And uh, yeah. Okay, so you can see now here is the GPIO we got here, which is output enabled at 1. File system mounted, then this we got here. Speed is 20 megahertz and size is 14 gig, which is a follow my SD card micro SD, is, which I just tear just now. Okay, here is 16 gig SD card per day, right? It's 14 gig, which is available around 15 gig. Lah. Uh, sort of near to the what is I buy here is 16 gig. So we can version 2 success size 512 scripty stuff. Then we get bus y is 4, which is with the, from the menu config there. Then we can see the opening file, hello tech, hello.txt, then we can file return there, renaming it to the you know the full text, then reading file again. Then we can read from the file like string or some stuff, then we unmount the SD card. A bit I want to show it. For the code section, it's just a simple one. I can you have the mount point uh, tag examples then this is this is the menu config just now and couples of things and yeah that's all uh, just to show you the this is how we interface ESP32 with the ST card with uh, ST MMC with the direct GPIO and the data transfer rate is much faster as compared to the ST SPI for the next video I will making is ST SPI configuration. I will change this, not the ST MMC, I will use it as a ST SPI, got the MOSI, MISO, serial clock and chip select. Okay guys, that's it for the video. I just want to show you kind of uh, it's not a, like a tutorial, it's just kind of like to show you how to have an overview, how to do the examples and flash it to the chip. Then, because at first you might have struggled, if you're very new to this, you have struggled a bit how to flash and those of those are uh, embedded stuff. But uh, if you go to some training or what, is uh, actually is quite simple. Okay, that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.